Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Dental Smile Changes the Mood. So in this video, we are going to discuss about anato anatomical landmarks in maxillary cast. So this is the frenum, it is a elevation. So the elevation which is towards the lip known as the labial frenum and the elevation which is towards the cheek known as the buccal frenum so labial frenum and the buccal frenum after that there is the depressions in the maxillary cast and these depressions are known as the vestibules so the vestibules which are towards the lip are known as labial vestibule and the vestibule which are away towards the cheek known as the buccal vestibule so labial vestibule and buccal vestibule so the elevations are the labial frenum and the buccal frenum and the depressions are the labial vestibule and the buccal vestibule so now we are marking the hamular notch so this hamular notch is a limiting structure as it forms the boundary of this cast. Then now we are going to mark the posterior palatal seal area. It is a cupid bosept structure that is posterior palatal seal area also known as PPS. So now we are marking the PPS. So after marking the posterior palatal, palatal seal area, now we are going to mark the phobia palatina. So now we are marking the phobia palatina. So after marking the phobia palatina, now we are marking the mid palatine suture. So now we are marking the mid palatine suture. It is coming under the relief area. So it is the mid palatine suture. So after mid palatine suture, now we are marking the rugae. Rugae is a supporting structure. So these rugae are the supporting structure. And after marking the rugae, we are going to mark the incisive papilla. So this is the incisive papilla which is coming under relief area. So now we are marking the maxillary tuberosity. So maxillary tuberosity it comes under the supporting structure. And there is also the torus platinos and the cupid eminence. So torus platinos. So all these are the anatomical landmarks in the maxillary cast. In the limiting structure, we are having the labial frenum, buccal frenum, labial vestibule, buccal vestibule, hamular notch, posterior palatal seal area, phobia palatina. In the supporting structure, we are having maxillary tuberosity and the rugae. In the relief areas, we are having mid palatine suture, incisive papilla, torus platinus, cupid eminence. There are two stress bearing areas also and these are the primary stress bearing area and the secondary stress bearing area. So the primary stress bearing area includes the horizontal slope of the hard palate. And the secondary stress bearing area includes the crest of the alveolar ridge, maxillary tuberosity and the rugae.
so now we had completed our marking on the maxillary cast in the limiting structure we are having labial frenum buccal frenum labial vestibule and buccal vestibule there is hamular notch posterior palatal ciliaria and fovea palatina in the supporting structures we are having maxillary tuberosity and rugae in the relief areas we are having mid palatine suture incisive papilla torus platinus and cupid eminence in the primary stress bearing areas we are having horizontal slope of hard palate and in the secondary stress bearing area we are having crest of alveolar ridge rugae and maxillary tuberosity so that's all about the anatomical landmarks in the maxillary cast thank you